how to make a custom product page with Elementor. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with building your product pages on WordPress with Elementor. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to your WordPress dashboard. You want to click on plugins and then click on add new. Once you click on add new, you can click on Elementor. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the default product selection on Elementor is only available. So the default template is only available on the paid version of Elementor. So if you're using the free version of Elementor, you're not going to be able to use the default theme. However, you can still build your product pages with Elementor. So all you have to do is click on install now. And once you have installed the particular plugin, which is Elementor Website Builder, you're going to click on activate. Once you click on activate, you can get started with logging in to your Elementor account. So you do need a separate Elementor account. You can click on skip over here and you can continue with the hello theme or even skip. After that, you have to enter your site name. For us, this is web. And then after that, we're going to skip and then you can choose a blank canvas or you can browse from templates. Now, if you click on browse from templates and this can be a great way for you to actually see some other templates and see some other product designs and easily be able to replicate. So if you click on the categories and select online store from the left side, you can take a look at the different templates that are available. All of these are available only on the pro version. However, they can be a good way for you to actually see visually what kind of website you should be looking to build. So once you have installed Elementor, you're going to click on Elementor over here and you will see the post types. Now you want to enable this for posts, pages and landing pages. And one thing to note is that you're not going to be able to have a direct checkout button directly on your Elementor page. You're going to have a rerouting button that is going to actually lead to the checkout button. So it's this page would be a secondary product page, not the first primary product page. So after that, what you're going to do is that you can go on ahead and you can go into the new section and you will have multiple different options. Now you will notice that we currently don't have a product option over here. The reason for this is we haven't downloaded any Shopify or WooCommerce type of plugins. So if you want a default product section, then all you have to do is go into plugins, click on add new and add WooCommerce or any search engine that you're using or any other kind of commerce booster that you're using. So for most people, they are using WooCommerce on WordPress because it's pretty simple to get started with and it does fulfill the needs of a online store. So WooCommerce is going to help you build your essential basic checkout points and your basic point of sale system. And then you can edit that with Elementor. So we're going to activate WooCommerce as well and it only takes a couple of seconds for these plugins to be downloaded and for them to be activated. Now, after that, we have to set up our WooCommerce store. I'm going to click on skip this guided setup because we don't really require a lot of details. I can just continue on and directly go to my store. Now, as you guys can see, WooCommerce has been added. Now, if I click on my pages section, you will see you have a cart page, a checkout page. And then if you scroll down, you have a sample page and your shop page in your shop page. You can click on edit over here. And once you click on edit on your shop page, you can click on edit with Elementor. Now, this will enable you to edit your WooCommerce shop pages directly with Elementor. Now, they're currently having some issues. This might be just a simple little bug but we're going to try again. If you find this issue, then you have to clear the cache on your browser and then retry as well. Now, this is just only to set up your shop page. After your shop page, you're actually supposed to build individual product pages, which is the main focus of our video. So to do that, you can go into add new on all pages. And if you already have a product added, you're going to title it accordingly. But let's say I don't have a product in mind and I just want to get started with building a product page, just like a structural page, which I can copy. So I would click on edit with Elementor. Now, later on, I'm going to 
edit the name of the page which is currently elementor 29 and then edit this to actually reflect the name of each individual product now after that on the left side of your screen you're going to find different layouts so you have a layout container the width the minimum height you can build containers then you also have additional options. You have multiple different types of items that you can add. You have basic items such as text, images, videos, and more. Then if you scroll down, you have the pro features of Elementor, which I was previously talking about. These features allow you to use a simple button and to use these simple buttons and integrate your shop directly with Elementor. And you can directly link Elementor instead of building a third party or not a third party, but a redirection link where people would first open up your Elementor shop page or an Elementor product page. And after your Elementor product page, they would be led to the actual checkout page by WooCommerce. So if you take a look at some of these site options, you will actually find WooCommerce integrated. So if you see over here, you have WooCommerce and then you have archive products, product archive descriptions, product prices, add to cart, and you can directly add your WooCommerce products into your Elementor WordPress website. Now, the other way that you can do it, if you don't have access to paid subscriptions of WooCommerce or Elementor, you can go on ahead and just use a simple divider and use containers to segment and build pages. Now to do this, you can click on the plus icon over here. You're going to choose a structure that you want. Let's say it's going to be this one. Once you have chosen a structure on one side, you want to add a image, which will be your product image. So you can click on choose image and go into your media library, or you can even insert from URL or select your own particular files. So let's say for us, it's this file over here. This is like a painting that we're selling. Now I'm going to click on select. Once I've added this on the second section over here, which is this particular section, now I'm going to make this smaller. Now this section, I might want to make slightly larger, which is a WooCommerce thumbnail, or maybe not a thumbnail. I'm going to put this in full or extremely large like this. So after I have chosen the placement like this, I'm going to go into the second container over here. And then in this container, I can add my heading, which might be abstract painting. Now, after I've added this below that, I can add my price and my sell now button and a description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dual structure. And then first I want to change the text as well. So I can select the text and then I will go on ahead and choose style on the top left. And then I will choose a black color like this. Now below that, I can add my call to action, which might be my buy now button. So I'm going to click on button over here and I'm going to place it over here. Now, after that, I will choose the alignment, which I want it to be centered. And then I will choose my size to be medium. After that, you can also choose your icon spacing, but I don't really want any icon spacing. And then after that, I want to choose the text, which is going to be by now now from here what you're going to do is that the link that you're going to insert within this button is going to be the particular link for the woocommerce item so the actual woocommerce product page is going to be linked to this button and then when people click on buy now they would be led to the woocommerce simple product page that you have designed with woocommerce or it could directly even be a checkout page and then on the right side i can go on ahead and drop some text and i can add some text over here as well to further describe my product now once you have completed your design you can click on publish on the bottom left and once you click on publish you can go back to your actual site so if we click on site i will click on apply click on update and go to site we're going to click on exit over here and now once i've done this i can go back into my wordpress dashboard and then in your pages, you're going to scroll down and you have the particular page name, which is probably going to be Elementor 29 or whatever Elementor page. And then you're going to click on quick edit over here and you're going to change the title abstract flower painting. And then the slug is also going to be changed to your actual title description like this. Now, after that, you have your parent page. So the parent page for this is going to be the shop page. Keep in mind, you're supposed to add this as your parent page. 
and then you have your template which we're going to keep the default one and this is a published page now if i click on update over here and go back into my site you will see that in our particular shop page uh, in our particular shop page we would be able to see the sub page of our product so so in this way you can easily build your product pages with elementor even if you don't have the paid version of elementor you can still use it pretty efficiently for product building i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video